everyone, my name is Zeynep Pamuk, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Government at the London School of Economics. Technocracy is a form of government in which important political decisions are handed to specialized experts. But it's not just about who makes the decisions, but also about what kind of reasoning, method, and rationality governs political decision making in general. In a technocracy, the idea is that there is a correct answer about what the right thing to do is, and that specialized knowledge and expertise, study, uh, means and reasoning and calculation can help us get there. This is in contrast, especially with representative democracy, in which political decisions are seen as a conflict between people with different interests, and these interests, needs, values, preferences are represented by uh, elected representatives, and politics is a, a process of deliberation, give and take, sometimes bargaining and conflict over what the right thing to do is. Expertise creates a problem for democracies that depend on expert knowledge because expert rule and democracy get their authority from different sources. Experts trace their knowledge, uh, trace their authority to their superior knowledge, whereas democratic politics traces its source of authority to the agreement of a majority of citizens. The problem that experts pose for politics is that what they represent as, as knowledge, as their um, expertise, is not free of the kinds of values that citizens themselves hold, but rather involves various value judgments at different stages. So what arrives at the stage of policymaking as science or expertise is not just pure knowledge or rationality that trumps people's preferences, but it rather incorporates the values of experts, either because of the, the framing of a project, the kinds of evidence that's been selected, how to trade off different kinds of errors, how to make judgments about what counts as sufficient knowledge, who to include in a trial population, who to leave out, how to condense that evidence for specific policy purposes. There are many different value judgments made and experts are the ones that make them. This creates a problem for democratic decision making because it brings the values of experts into the political process through other means. So I would encourage you to think about the assumptions that experts are making and how their values may differ from the values of different citizen groups. Ultimately, in a democratic society, experts' values and the assumptions that they make should be open for scrutiny and contestation. So in, in deliberative or participatory processes where experts are involved, uh, citizens should be focused on exposing, scrutinizing, questioning experts to understand what they have assumed. And in this way, they can productively use or benefit from expert knowledge without giving over decision-making power wholly to experts and their knowledge. Thank you. Thank you.